So here we are out here in Nanuet and I actually cannot turn my bike off right now because um, my battery actually died. So we got Sean in the building. We got FXF BNYC in the building. Yeah, so we came up to ride today and um, it's uh, definitely chilly. It's late April right now. And um, you know, it was chilly enough where I wanted to use my heated gear, so I am running that. So um, yeah, we pull up to our usual meetup spot over on the Palisades. I go to start my bike up and the battery is just completely dead. Yeah, so this actually happened to me about two months ago where I rode to the gym and finished my workout, went to start the bike, and boom, nothing. And I was able to jump it, and then it was okay for about a couple months. But it should be noted that after that happened, I no longer ran it with heated gear. So I think running the battery with heated gear is doing something. Um, I think just the battery, you know, it's over three years old at this point. Um, it's got close to 25,000 miles on it. A good amount of those miles have been used with heated gear, so I don't know. I think it's probably just time to put a new battery in this bike. And I noticed it was like starting to kind of go too, just because um, I, no I noticed that at times like the left glove just wouldn't be having any heat. Um, so I think, you know, that has to do with, you know, just there not being enough battery power. Dude, where the hell are these guys taking us? Dude, Pancakes Plus? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go do some uh, pancakes for the table now over at Pancakes Plus. <laughs> Dude. Dude, Pancakes Plus? Pancakes Plus. Let me go somewhere else, I don't know. No, this looks great, dude. dude sometimes these hole in the wall places are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Now, how did it die? Just died on its own? I was running the heated gear, and I, I, I didn't have the bike running, and I had the heated oh, gear in. might be fine. You think so? Yeah, it's you just had to jump it, that's all. It's the se second so time it's happened. Car. You ever leave your light on? You don't have to get a new battery. I mean, but honestly, if I were you, because you do a lot of cross-country rides, three years, I'd be pushing my battery. Yeah. Just to play safe. One hour later. All right, we are out here at Pancakes Plus. We got Sean in the building, and oh, man. Was that a good breakfast over at Pancakes Plus? <laughs> we got these uh, Girl Scouts over here trying to sell us some cookies, holding their ears because the bikes are so damn loud. But yeah, that was a solid breakfast. We did leave a quarter of the pancake for our for our main man, Old Man Armstrong, who couldn't be with us today. Congratulations to him, by the way, for uh, getting engaged. That's going to be a fun wedding. Sean pulling ahead, not, not waiting for his brothers. But yeah, at this point, we're gonna hit up that uh, Harley Davidson that's right down the road. I'm gonna throw a new battery in this bike and we're gonna keep moving from there. It's warmed up significantly, so um, I don't really even need the heated gear as much. I have it cranked up to a nine, but it's um, unevenly distributed because of the, the battery power. And um, yeah, then we're gonna hit up some Bear Mountain Twisties, maybe some uh, Starbucks cold brew, then we'll call it a day. But there he is, Smiley Steve FXFB in the building. Yes, Hudson Valley, Harley Davidson. All right, so you think they have what I need? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, man. No, how's my beard look? Dude, your beard's looking great, man. Oh, the camera's really picking that up. 28 days later. <laughs> no, I like that road glide, bro. I know, it's nice. I think it's nice. Road glide special. Yeah, honestly, if I was gonna get a new bike, that's what I'd get. 100%. All right, guys. 
getting a road glide today. <laughs> oh, and it looks like FXFB is going to become FLNYC. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to go get this battery. We'll pick it up a little bit later. Peace. 20 minutes later. Yes, the glory of a new battery. Yes. Shout out to Hudson Valley Harley Davidson. All right, YouTube, we are back out here. I got my new Harley Davidson lithium battery. It's like 20 pounds lighter than the old battery, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it feels good to um, know that I have a full battery right now. Got a little bit over three years from my last one. I'd say that's pretty good, right? And at this point, now that we've taken care of our business over at um, the Hudson Harley Davidson, we're gonna go ride some uh, twisties over in uh, Bear Mountain. Yeah. Sean says he knows a pretty good route, so we're gonna go check that out. Yeah, and if you're in New York, you know, it's a good, uh, good dealership. Hudson Harley, you know, they had um, Legends, they had L Lucky Dave's bars, they had a bunch of like modern things. Oh. Where was the, where was the this one? I think it was that way, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, it's a really nice dealership. The homie that was helping me actually has a 2017 Lowrider S. We're talking bikes for a little bit, so shout out to that dude who um, sold me this nice battery. And man, I gotta tell you guys, if you do not carry a tool roll like I have in this thrash and supply tool roll in my uh, fairing over here, you should get yourself a nice, uh, a nice tool roll to nestle into your fairing like mine. Because it's just the type of thing that you don't need it until you need it. And the last time that battery went dead, it caught me off guard. I actually didn't have tools with me. So, ever since then, I was like, all right, let me go to Get Lowered. Let me find myself a nice uh, bar bag with a tool roll. And of course, Thrashin makes the perfect one, which I'll do a separate review video on at some point. But yeah, installing a battery, pretty easy job. Um, took about 10 minutes, you know, just all you really need is a screwdriver. <laughs> but yeah, man, this uh, lithium ion battery, I just like cannot believe how much lighter it is than the stock battery. I mean, any, any weight that you could shed is good. And this battery definitely does that. And besides that, there's a couple other perks to this battery which made me pull the trigger on it. One of which being that it lasts for 10 years. So, yeah, you're gonna throw down 250 for a battery, but think about how much money you're saving on all the batteries that you would go through. And that's kind of why it was easy to pull the trigger on it. Cause I was just kind of doing the math in my head of, of being like, okay, so I ride this much. I'm gonna go through a battery, maybe around every three years. So it actually makes sense to just, you know, get the premium battery. And the other thing that's really nice about the battery is like the older ones you're gonna leave it on a uh, battery tender for you know days on end when you're not riding so that you can charge it apparently with this battery you only need to leave it on a charger for about 30 minutes and you're good so I think that's a nice perk to this modern battery